Japan's minister in charge of the nuclear disaster says reactors at the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant will achieve cold shutdown within the year. The initial target was early next year. Goshi Hosono spoke at the International Atomic Energy Agency's annual ministerial meeting in Vienna on Monday. The situation at the plant is moving steadily towards restoration. The situation at the plant is moving steadily towards restoration. Well, you're not serious, are you? We will move up the existing target period and endeavor to achieve this cold shutdown by the end of this year. Hosono said that decontaminated water has been successfully used to cool the troubled nuclear reactors. He also said spent nuclear fuel pools have been cooled in a stable manner. Earlier, Hosono met IAEA Director General Yukia Amano and asked for the agency's support for the decontamination efforts in Fukushima. The decontamination is on an unprecedented scale, and Japan needs all the help and wisdom it can get from around the world. Amano responded very positively to the request. Meanwhile, Tokyo Electric Power Company says the temperature inside the number 3 reactor is now below 100 degrees Celsius for the first time since the accident. This is the second reactor in which the temperature has been reduced to less than 100 degrees following the number one reactor. TEPCO says the lower temperature does not automatically mean the reactor has achieved a cold shutdown, but it does at least indicate that the cooling efforts are being effective. The utility now aims to cool the number two reactor. Japanese nuclear experts are discussing ways to contain the crisis in Fukushima. The Atomic Energy Society of Japan is holding its first conference since the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The conference began with an apology for not being able to prevent the accident. Lots of people who lived around the plant still can't go home. The accident has had a huge impact on the people of Japan and caused them great worry. We find the situation extremely regrettable. Professor Hisashi Ninokata of the Tokyo Institute of Technology said even experts had been too confident in the safety of Japan's nuclear power generation. He said the Atomic Energy uh, Society should face the accident squarely and work hard to overcome the situation. During the morning session, nuclear experts discussed how to tackle the crisis in Fukushima and help affected areas recover. Evacuees from the no-entry zone around the Fukushima nuclear plant have been allowed to briefly visit their homes in their own vehicles. Residents of Kawachi Village have begun driving home to get some of the belongings they left behind during the evacuation in March. 225 people from 90 households are due to visit their homes on Monday. This is the second chance for evacuees to go home. Only two people per household were allowed to go to the, go the first time and they were taken on buses. This time evacuees can use their own vehicles and can take as many people as they can carry. I borrowed a truck to get my bed. We were only allowed a backhoe last time. I hope to get heavier things this time. The vehicles will be tested for radioactive contamination when they come out of the no-go zone. They'll be decontaminated if the amount of radioactive substances exceeds new and stricter limits. Home visits in private vehicles are due to continue until late November. The German industrial giant Siemens is withdrawing from the nuclear industry. This follows the German government's decision to phase out nuclear power. Siemens chief executive Peter Leischer revealed the plan in an interview with the German weekly magazine Der Spiegel. He said Siemens will no longer be involved with construction of nuclear power stations. He said the decision is the company's response to Germany's pullout from nuclear energy. 
He said the company will still make steam turbines and other parts for non-nuclear facilities, such as gas-fired power stations. Siemens is the first big nuclear equipment manufacturer to withdraw from the industry. The German government decided in June to shut down all of the country's 17 reactors by 2022 in light of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident in Japan. Japan will likely be dealing with the aftermath of the Fukushima Daiichi accident for many years to come. A number of citizens say that proves using atomic energy is just too risky. Tens of thousands of people took that message to the streets on Monday. They rallied in Tokyo to pressure government and business leaders to scrap nuclear plants. Nobel Prize winning author Ken Zaburo Oe, economic critic Katsuto Uchihashi and public figures called for people to demonstrate. The use of atomic energy will inevitably have devastating and costly consequences. We have to let government and business leaders know that we, the citizens, are determined to resist nuclear power plants. After the rally, thousands marched through the streets carrying placards. Some said they want children to be protected from radiation exposure. Organizers say about 60,000 people joined the rally. Police officials maintain only about half that number showed up.